Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to share a question suggested by a viewer from the one of the very famous math channel, Free Blue One Brown, and it's also one of my favorite math channel. And let's have a look on the question. So I modified the question a bit, and it states that we need to pick up two numbers x and y randomly and uniformly in the interval from zero to one. We need to find the probability that y over x runs off to the nearest even number. So this is a very interesting question. So if you have time, please pause the video and have a try, and then you can check the answer afterwards. We will focus our calculation in the region of the first quadrant because we are picking up two numbers from zero to one, and each ordered pair x y represents the possible values of x and y. Notice that y over x represents the slope of a straight line passing through the origin. So we will focus our calculation in this unit square. So step one, we will consider all numbers run to zero first. So if we would like to a number run to zero because zero is an even number, we will consider the range of this number to be greater than or equal to zero and also less than 0.5 and we'll multiply the inequality by x on the three sides so the left becomes zero remains zero and the middle is y and then the right hand side will becomes 0.5x in fact the inequality represents the region between the line y equals zero and y equals 0.5x so we draw two lines one is the y equals zero, which is the x-axis itself. And the other is y equals 0 0.5x, which is a line passing through the origin and the point 0 0.5. So I join this line. And then we need to find the area of this region. This is easy is uh, one half times the base which is one times the height which which is uh, 0 0.5 and it equals one over four the next step we will consider all numbers run to two so if we want the number to be run to two we need to be within 1.5 and 2.5 and then we multiply all the things by x so we get an inequality like this. And this inequality also represents a region between the line y equals 1.5x and another line y equals 2.5x. So we need to find the area of this region. And then we need to find the height, which is 1, which is easy. And we need to find the base of this triangle. So we now need to find the coordinates of these two points, which is easy. We just need to put y equals 1 into both equations. So for the first equation, we'll get 1 equals 2.5x and then another equation we need we get 1 equals 1 1.5x so the first equation x is equal to 1 over 2.5 uh, which is 2 over 5 and then another equation which is 1 over 1 1.5 which is 2 over 3 so the area of this triangle is 1 half times 1 times 2 over 3 minus 2 over 5 and the 2 will cancel out the numerator inside the bracket so after we get 1 over 3 minus 1 over 5 so let's continue the process and sum up all the possible areas inside the square and uh, inside the square so for the first one we know that the area is 1 over 3 minus 1 over 5 
And the second one is similar, which is 1 over 7 minus 1 over 9. And the probability of the total area will be the first triangle 1 over 4 plus 1 over 3 minus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 7 minus 1 over 9 plus dot 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 dot. So the later part here, which is very similar to the Nyblis formula for pi. We know that the arctangent x can be expressed as a series like this in the right hand side. If we now put x equals 1 on both sides and the left hand side is arctangent 1 and the right hand side is 1 plus uh, 1 minus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 5 minus 1 over 7 plus 1 over 9 minus dot 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 and arctangent 1 is pi over 4 so now if we add a 1 minus on both sides of the equation and the right hand side will become like this and notice that the 1 minus will cancel out the first one and then the minus sign will go into the bracket and then change the sign of each number so it becomes 1 over 3 minus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 7 minus 1 over 9 and so we can simplify the probability which becomes 1 over 4 plus 1 over pi over 4 which is 5 over 4 minus pi over 4 so we can have two interesting facts the first one is a pi appears from nowhere and then the second one is we find that the probability of rounding to even number is not equal to the probability of rounding to odd number and in fact the probability of rounding to even number is less than that run to odd number so i hope you guys will enjoy this video and if you find this video interesting please subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video bye bye